I recorded me doing my makeup today and then I was doing a voiceover. Somehow I ended up deleting the entire video. But the things that I have wanted to say, I feel like are too good to not say it. So instead of doing a voiceover while y'all watch me do my makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and just say it. I am a content creator and I have been on the internet creating content for six years already. It was primarily on Facebook, however, I'm on Instagram and YouTube and now TikTok. Me and my husband together have been putting out content. We've shared a lot of personal things about our life. I've been on like this huge journey for my health. Would literally be breastfeeding my son Raza under a poncho. <laughs> That's how long I've been on social media and he's seven now. Anyways, May 23rd of last year, my husband attempted. I feel like I don't even need to give reasons as to why I didn't tell social media, but why would I? That's really the better question. Why would I tell anyone? But he was flown out from Yuma to Tucson, Arizona, and it was very apparent that this was going to be a very long-term injury. During the first month that he was hospitalized, the VA was feeding him a formula that I could tell his body was having severe reactions to before he could get off the ventilator for about eight hours. But when they increased the specific feeding, there would be so many things that would happen, including he couldn't even be off the ventilator for five minutes. Doctors always blame the brain injury. But I know my husband. I knew he was having a bad reaction to that food. We, we've been vegan for four years. Consuming animal products is going to be detrimental to the body. So I felt, you know what? I'm going to take to social media and try to get vegan formula because they allowed me a short amount of time to go and look for something that he could consume. Within two hours, I was able to deliver vegan formula. But I had made a post on my Facebook page saying that if you're in Tucson, you have vegan formula, please hit me up, I'll pay for it. But of course, so many people are like, why are you in Tucson? Why do you need vegan formula? What's really going on? Later that day, I went ahead and went live and told people my husband sustained a brain injury, but that's about all I wanna say. Send me your positive vibe. Send us your well wishes. Please, no pity. Pity has a low frequency and that's not something that I want for me and I especially don't want it for him. You can go and look at my prior videos. Me and Vaughn were just sharing things about our life that we already were doing for, at that time, the last five years. Not too long after, that's when all hell broke loose. That's all the time I have for part one. Let me know if you want part two.